Hello friends, uh, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic Enterprise Environmental Factors. Friends, this is a topic related to project management and uh, we will see this topic in detail with respect to PMI, PIMPOC, Project Management Body of Knowledge and this is uh, completely topic related to project management. <laughs> friends, see if you are a professor, if you are a student and uh, uh, you are planning to give exam of project management in university or you are planning to give exam of PMP so friend this is a very very important topic with respect to project management and you should have a clear vision because you will definitely definitely see this topic in the exam so with respect to exam point of view this is a very very important topic at least at least uh, seven to eight questions you will definitely see in the exam which are directly related to the topic enterprise environmental factors then uh, friend if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization so again as a professional project manager this is very important for you to understand the concept of enterprise environmental factor so friend uh, uh, coming back to our main topic please uh, first of all i would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's uh, start enterprise environmental factor see friend here enterprise environmental factor uh, first of all we have to understand what does it mean by environment okay uh, please try to understand environment means friend for example if you are uh, if you are residing if you are living in a city where uh, the weather is very hot okay so what you will do you will uh, wear the clothes according to the weather like you will wear the clothes which are uh, light i mean <coughs> which are suitable with respect to the hot weather okay because the weather is very hot and weather is not in your control so you will wear the clothes which are according to the hot uh, weather similarly if you are in a city for example if you are in a city of uh, london let's suppose and uh, weather let's suppose weather is very cold very uh, cold weather there and uh, it is not in your control weather is not in your control so you will wear the uh, hot clothes uh, warm clothes sorry so which are suitable according to the weather so friends see uh, we have to adjust ourselves according to the environment because environment is not in our control so it is uh, the weather force us to do according to the to do according to the weather to do according to the environment so environment force us some impact because weather is not in our control so we have to behave we have to act according to the weather if weather is hot we have to wear the clothes according to the hot weather if weather is cold we have to wear the clothes according to the uh, according to the uh, cold weather so see friend here we are adjusting ourselves according to the weather because weather is not in our uh, control and it's forcing us it's impacting us so we have to adjust ourselves according to the weather similarly friend when we talk about environment environment is also in our is not in our control environment means the surrounding factors like for example if you are sitting in a room so there are some surrounding factors surrounding factor means that uh, there are some factors which are impacting you which are around you but they are not in your control and you have to adjust with respect to these factors which are surrounding you and you have to survive with all these factors if you want to survive in a room let's suppose if you want to survive in a environment so friend what does it mean by environment here just try to understand the concept of environment environment means that the surrounding factors which are not in your control and which are impacting you positively or negatively and you have to adjust according to the in, uh, surrounding factors and you have to survive with all these factors okay so this this is called as environment 
and just remember whenever you have to explain the environment just remember the definition just remember the example of a weather if a weather is hot you have to close according to the hot weather if weather is cold you have to wear the clothes according to the cold weather because weather is not in your control so friend now coming to uh, towards our main topic environment enterprise environmental factor friend as per the uh, project management uh, this is a very very important topic enterprise environmental factor see friend here uh, environmental factors means that whenever as a project manager you have to work in any organization there are some enterprise environmental factor in every organization that means that every organization has some uh, some culture has some factors some stakeholders so you have to adjust yourself according to organizational culture the, what does it mean let me give you a very simple example maybe you can understand it very easily see friend here if you are working in any private organization as a project manager so everyone knows that the culture of private organization is totally different with respect to the uh, government organization okay <laughs> like the um, the pace of work in private organization is very fast accountability is more in uh, private organizations you have to be on your toes and you have to work very fast you have to deliver the things so however if, if you are in the pri uh, government organizations there are some other factors like the pace is not so much high and uh, the style of working is different uh, pace is slow etc etc so friend see try to understand and if you are in a government organization you can't do anything try to understand you can't uh, change the enterprise environmental factor in government organization so you have to behave according to the uh, according to the uh, environmental factor of any organization if you are in pr private organization so you have to behave like a private organization member if you are in a government organization uh, so you have to behave like a government organization factor friend every organization has their own culture and uh, this that is called as enterprise environmental factor and it can be positive it can be negative so try to understand you can't change the culture try to understand as a project manager it is not your responsibility to change the culture of organization because you can't change it okay as a project manager this is not your responsibility to focus that how you can change the culture because you can't change it as a project manager okay so you have to live with it or uh, then uh, enterprise environmental factor can be internal can be external internal external what does it mean see friend the factors which belongs to the organization so these factors are called as internal and the factor which are outside the organization that is called as external factors okay then see enterprise inventor factor uh, see what are the examples of external enterprise factor external means friend the factors which are outside the organization which are which are the factor which are outside the organization what are the factor for example any government regulations market conditions political conditions industry standards legal restrictions so all these are the factors which are beyond the culture of organization your organization because these are beyond these are outside from the organization so that is why we are we are calling it as external enterprise environmental factor external means friend the factors which are from the outside of your organization okay so that is called as external enterprise factor the factors which are external external means that are outside your organization that is called as external so government factor government regulations legal restrictions uh, market conditions the uh, uh, the uh, political conditions of country so all these factors are not in your control and these factors are called as external factors then uh, the other type is internal enterprise environmental factors what are those 
for uh, for example organizational culture organizational culture means what does it mean for example uh, for example the culture is that uh, they are uh, meetings are a very general culture like every week you have to attend the meeting and you have to explain the uh, status of uh, projects to the uh, to the senior management so it is a culture that it is a very common culture that you have to attend the meeting every friday and you have to explain the uh, status so this is a culture there for example i'm just giving you a example so, uh, the other types of organizational structure political internal political condition internal political condition means like a hierarchy of the uh, stakeholders uh, company stakeholders resources culture uh, the behaviors of resources infrastructure it infrastructure the hardware infrastructure so all these are the factors which internal means that the factors which are internal from the organization which are inside the uh, organization that is called as internal enterprise uh, environmental factor so friend uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you